Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review Lamageddon, a woolly terror from space. Let me be clear here. I understand what they're doing and these are all fake names, but I will do the same thing that I usually do. Directed by How We Doin', starring Pinky Brainwise, Jocks I'm Feelin', Gooch Jesco III, John Selmy, and introducing Louis the Llama. This movie's about a killer llama from space. What do we like? I love that we had a llama. <laughs> yes. Big fan of llamas. You can't see, I'm actually wearing llama socks. It's a coincidence. The fact Although it is the determining factor because it was between Llamageddon and Killer Sofa. And he said, I'm wearing my llama socks. I said, well, then that's the decision made. It didn't disappoint by giving us a llama. I would have been okay with like a puppet llama or like a person in a llama costume, but to have a real llama on set throughout this entire movie, brilliant. I absolutely loved it. And we did a trailer reaction ages ago and we were waiting for this movie to come out. And then something so stupid happened. They decided to release this on Amazon with like a massive inflation price so that it would generate traction, which was an excellent move by them. Like, I think it was like a million bucks or something crazy on Amazon, but they didn't reduce the price to a regular rental rate till well after anyone gave a shit about it anymore. It, like, it got really popular in like 24, 48 hours, and then nobody even talked about this movie again. And then we found it on Tubi, and hell yeah, here we go. Llamas with red eyes shooting laser beams and blowing stuff up, very cool. Big fan of that. And don't forget they have their mutant Ooze that transforms humans into like man llamas. I think it's like the spit. You know how llamas <laughs> spit at you? It just looks weirder. <laughs> but I hate llamas for doing that. Like it's just a dick thing to do. I did like when they were doing llama kills, we had like, stuffed hooves fighting people on the ground. That was pretty funny. So once you first see the llama shoot a laser, you're like, okay, this is all we're gonna get. It's just a simple laser. No way. We got like a llama punching through a guy's chest. There's blood spraying everywhere, which was great. Like, so there were some practical effects. We had a llama bite on the neck and they absolutely destroyed the porch. I feel bad for whoever's house this is because it didn't seem like anyone here would have owned this house. This Seems like, hey mom and dad, I'm gonna be shooting a movie on our llama farm today, do you mind? And they just fucking destroyed this front porch. It was great. And there were little baby llamas in the eggs. <laughs> Which I gotta give a shout out to one of my favorite streamers, Curvy Llama, because she's got a little llama puppet that looks exactly like this llama puppet, but his name's Lorenzo. I highly recommend, if you're a big llama fan, check out Curvy Llama on Twitch. She's brilliant. Also, my credit is ass. I don't have a credit card. I'm a mess. Listen, boys, run. I'm a mess. Get out of here. I did like that Trent transformed into like a half human, half llama. It was really bad, but like good at the same time. I think that that can be said to a lot of this whole movie here. This is not a, a great film, straight up. It's pretty garbage, but it is funny because there's a llama and they know that's why it's called Llamageddon. Every time the llama was in a shot, I was dying. This film, 100% self-aware, even to the point where like the constant gags of like one guy guy changing his shirt every different shot. There's nothing you should take serious about this movie. No, yeah, they knew, they knew. They do like crazy extreme close-ups for absolutely no reason, cause why not? Measure your dicks. Some other time then. I didn't like all of the stuff, but they definitely knew what they were doing. Shout out to a sweet end credit rap song though. Red llama spaceship in the sky, obliterated space station in the blink of an eye. I also want to shout out the intro. The intro is really cool because obviously this is like a next to no budget movie, but the intro scene they did like all animated and it showed like the llamas on their world marching and getting in their little spaceships and flying down to earth and stuff. It was really cool. And then they even reused this in a scene where it appears that the llama has sex with Llama Trent. Now, what didn't we like? This film really only needed to be five, 10 minutes. Yep. <laughs> It's an hour and eight minutes, and I'm complaining about the pacing and length. It felt like it went on forever. I am a man now. They knew it too, because the way that they filled dead air was just by repeating scenes. Like for example, when Mel is trying to get friends over to have like this party. Mike, hey, Kathleen, what's up? Miguel, hola. And then it would cut to her brother pacing just so they can waste time. There's a lot of wasted time in this movie. And it's only an hour. At the party, there was 
tons of scenes that they need to happen, especially a really awkward like dance moment. She likes virgins and she likes to stick around until they both get their instruments in tune. <laughs> It was like a really bad joke, but they just kept going with it. And even like some of the jokes were really bad. I love a good pun, but the alpaca one was just very cringy. You seem really, really tense right now. Here, I'll pack a bowl for you. I know they knew they were being cringy, but at the same time, we don't have to like it. Oh, and if we're gonna talk about the kills, they literally killed the entire cast in one take. It, that pissed me off, big time. They just electrocuted everybody in the hot tub. It's likely the budget, and they're just like, oh shit, we have 10 people we need to kill. Get in the hot tub, but come on. And I would also argue that it probably has something to do with what the llama can possibly do. Like this was quite the uh, adventure for this llama. It had to go through the garage into where the hot tub was so like I don't know they took some big risks with this llama like when the combine was running and the llama was like this close to it I was like whoa that llama could just turn his head and he's gonna get chopped up I will say that even though they were self-aware and I mentioned those like different shot types like I didn't like them I hated them in fact and the whole dad thing I didn't really like the whole dad situation like the final act really drags after everybody dies in the hot tub you're just like well I don't care anymore I don't think I really cared for any of the characters to begin with <laughs> <laughs> this is weird because we're being very critical about this stupid movie that's supposed to be stupid. But just because you're self-aware doesn't mean you get a free pass on all aspects. I don't think the camera work was very good either. Aside from the intentionally weird shots, they're just like holding a camera half the time and it's jittering all about and shit. Or sex scenes in the washroom where you see the whole crew in the mirror. This was probably intentional or at least left in intentionally, but like it's still weird. And if we're really being technical here, the audio was garbage. I think it's crazy in there. Or if anything happens, I'm gonna make everyone leave. It was peaking at some points. It was just all over the place. Even like really bad ADR. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna have a couple of people over tonight and you're gonna just have to deal with it. Well, again, one of those ADR things I think was intentionally done. Uh, uh nothing dude. Ooh. It was funny regardless, but like, it is shitty. Like, especially if you're not used to really low budget movies, you're probably gonna absolutely hate this. Now it's time for our final thoughts and ratings. Llamageddon is pretty close to what I expected. It's a low budget llama movie. It's self-aware, it knows what the hell it's doing. The characters are throwaway. The jokes are pretty predictable, but I was impressed with like the blood spraying everywhere and the use of fire and fireworks. It's a funny concept that didn't need to be a full feature, unfortunately. I think if you were stoned, you'd love this movie. I was drunk and I did like aspects and I was dying every time the llama was around, but for the most part, it's not very good. And I think most people watching the trailer would probably come to that conclusion without having to watch this review, so. so you're just here to hear us talk some shit. I know that. But I'll rate it anyway. I'll give it one and a half space sticks that are actually those little like plastic baseball bats just wrapped in aluminum foil out of five. It's a goddamn space stick. It's no surprise that this movie was not good. I had zero expectations going into this because seeing the trailer, knowing the concept, you knew you were gonna get into a bad movie. But there are aspects that I enjoyed. I liked that they used a llama and I liked that they had like stuffed llama arms for like interacting with the characters. That aspect was hilarious. Our characters were awful. And I was happy to see them die because that's the purpose of this movie, to literally watch a llama blow things up. The problem was that it was too long of a runtime and this really should have just been a short. We've seen things like this get over well in under 10 minutes or 15 minutes like in Treevenge. I liked all the kills, I just didn't think this needed to be this long of a movie. But if you are looking for something to just like laugh at while you're watching, they've made something that is intentionally bad. So you can bash this and I'm sure they'll be like, yep, we did our job. So go check it out on Tubi if you really want to. So with that being said, I gotta give this film one drop in your drawers out of five. Oh, drop your drawers! As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on the film if you've seen it. If you haven't and you do want to check it out, links are in the description. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay up to date with everything, bloodbath and beyond.